welcome 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 friends look what the new year dragged in hi i'm denise i run the poshmark closet eat play love and um i have been mia for quite some time and life has just been one series of pretty much unfortunate events after another <laughs> so i am back i am deciding to uh sort of forge on and with the new year just make my way in a positive way and just let everything that i have gone through in the past months melt out of my brain it is Tuesday, January 2nd, and I'm just gonna share what I sold this weekend. I did a 40% off kind of closet clear out. I just ran a straight up, go to my closet, make offers to likers, 40% off. You can choose what you wanna offer at 40% off. So of course I left some items out of that 40% off, but for the most part, if I was making around $10 after 40% off, I went with sending those offers to people. It happened to work in my favor. And to be honest, December was my slowest month. And part of that is my input into Posh. So I was in favor for just getting rid of items, moving things out. And I think I made $500 in sales on the 31st. So that felt really good for my numbers and for my heart and for my drive and for goal setting and all of those things. I'm gonna share with you what I'm about to ship. What's funny is that I've lost electricity in my laundry room and my garage and the laundry room is where I keep my inventory and the garage of course is where I ship from, I photograph from and I also store items. I have an electrician coming tomorrow but I spent the last 24 hours trying to navigate fixing the problem and um, I came close a couple of times but I think the issue is bigger than a, a person like me just trying trying to navigate electrical issues I, it's it's bigger it's a professional needs to come in so I have a professional coming tomorrow so all of my shipping and everything is thrown off and I thought it would be fun to share what I sold in front of the Christmas tree let's get started talking about what I sold this week and the majority of the items were for 40% off. If they weren't, I will share what I sold and what percent. I'm not going to be specifically talking about what I paid and what my profits were and all of that. I will share on the screen what I sold an item for if I don't mention it when I'm talking. The first item that I sold was actually an out of pocket figs item. And I say out of pocket because here is this, it's like a Lululemon um, Swiftly shirt but it's actually figs so they call this an under scrub it's a long sleeve shirt and um so i sold this this did go in the 40 percent off sale i sold it for 22 dollars i sold a smart wool running skirt or just like skirt what's interesting about it is that the outside material is more of just like a synthetic um a little bit like a nylon but the inside, the shorts and the liner part of it, this is what's all wool. So um, this went in the 40% off sale. You know, when you make a lot of back-to-back -back sales at a 40% off price point, it makes me wonder if I should just drop the price of items in my closet 20%. Of course, as you would imagine, a lot of, not a lot of people, but I would say a good handful, a solid handful of people took the opportunity for my 40% off. And let's say I had a $50 vest that I offered for 40% off. Um, that would be a $30 offer with $5.95 shipping on the vest. And I had some people offer me, counter offer me 15. I did not accept any lowball counter offers when I was doing this. So I pretty much said 40% off, take it or leave it. I also sold a regular pair of just black 
figs. These are the really basic scrubs. Um, you know, I once sourced a brand new with tags figs. I'm looking to see what size these are. These are an extra small. And you know, extra small in figs does well, and extra large does very, very well, like a very fast sell through, but I still sell extra small. I once picked up a pair of figs new with tags and I was so excited. I thought they were just gonna blow out of my closet. And it turns out it took longer to sell those than I anticipated. And I was kind of bummed out and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna pick up figs. Well, I kept picking up figs. And it's funny, I was recently at the hospital with my daughter and all of the nurses were wearing figs. And I just, I see how the pendulum has swung to the medical community community and how pretty much where I live in Boulder, everyone's wearing figs. So I am picking up figs. Uh, my dental hygienist on Friday had figs on and I was like, hey, I was like, I sell figs. And he's like, you do? So the next time I get his size, I'm going to let him know. This is a really interesting piece. This is obscure, but I want to recommend this if you find it. This brand is called Larkin and they make maternity tank top bras. What's interesting about this is that it just kind of feels like a stretchy tank top. It's kind of sheer in the back. Do you call it a hands-free um, pumping bra? Likes. And so this, nursing bra had 15 likes in about 10 days and it's a really small brand so these retail for 48 dollars i had it in my closet for 38 dollars and i sold it for 32. i fielded a lot of 22 dollar offers which i declined i just um you know countered with 32. No one that I counter offered accepted 32 and I wasn't going lower on this. I was the only one on Poshmark that had one of these in a size large and it turns out it happened to be a popular size. I did pick that up at the bins and I'd never heard of the brand before but I'm always very open to sourcing um, kind of what feels like cottage brand maternity clothes. Hatch, Larkin, you'll see another maternity piece that I sold this weekend as well. The next item I sold is just a pair of slip on J Jill. These are pin cord. They are brand new with tags. So these sold for $18, $79 brand new with tags. If I were to have sold these in a live, I would have started them at $10. So hey, 18 bucks. Disclosure on these, um, I have had these in my closet for um, probably a year and a half. I have found that Jade Jill does fairly well as a brand on a whole, but um, these didn't really get a lot of attention even though they were new with tax. I sold this Prairie Underground. This is a midi dress. I picked this up around Halloween and I have sold Prairie Underground before. There goes a mushroom from my Christmas tree. So I've sold Prairie Underground before and this is the dress. It's really quite lovely. The material in the bottom is a little bit different. This is more of like a cottony jersey material. I sold a summer salt. It's called the Perfect Wrap one piece swimsuit. I had it in my closet for 55 and I sent out an offer for 30 on it and it sold. Conversely, I didn't sell a one Andy swimsuit in my 40% off sale. So we're just ticking along with very bad investment. Um, I picked those swimsuits up from a, you know, wholesaler and it just turns out that it's super oversaturated and those were not a good buy. I have not made my money back on the Andy swimsuits nor do I recommend uh <sighs> I don't know. I, I don't really recommend wholesaling from companies online unless you are very particular about what you're purchasing. And the indie swimsuits were kind of a big mistake. I got a swimsuit out of the deal and I have sold one one piece and maybe a couple bikini pieces, but otherwise it has been cold as ice in the Andy swimsuit department. 
The next maternity piece that I sold was a pair of Beyond Yoga. It's called Beyond the Bump. And I also picked these up at the bins. It's just their bike shorts with pockets. And I helped the person who bought these kind of navigate the size because it's a size medium. These are space dyed and the material is really fabulous. It's super soft and stretchy going to be perfect if you're pregnant. This is a J Crew Liberty of London collab. This is a button down shirt and I do recommend picking up all J Crew Liberty of London collab pieces. They made vests and shoes or like sandals. Um, they made blouses. I don't know other pieces. I've only picked up blouses and a vest but they are sought after. I sold a packed hoodie piece and if you've watched some of my other videos this is a unisex hoodie that they make. Packed is a 100% organic cotton brand out of Boulder, Colorado. I was able to go to one of their sample sales a few months ago and it turned out to be a highly profitable way to have spent one morning. I spent about an hour there and I think I've made over a thousand dollars on those items that I picked up at the packed sample sale. I sold a Kate Spade dress. Now I had picked up two Kate Spade um, shirt dresses at the same time and this was the second one. They both sold in the 40% off sale. They're super cute. The other one I had had stars and this one had hearts. I'm assuming they were donated by the same person. I sold a We Norwegians t-shirt and this is 100% merino wool. This came from Europe from a trip to Norway. So I'm not sure if you will come across this brand when sourcing, but on a whole, I would say people love merino wool and to definitely pick up merino wool items. I sold this Princess Polly skirt. Just a very basic knit skirt, super cute. I sold a Reformation tank top in the 40% off sale. I had this for a while. Reformation's more basic pieces, they really don't spend sell for a lot of money and um, I think I sold this for around $18. I sold this um, preen by Thornton Bragazzi dress and I'm going to put a photo up of what this dress does. You can zip this piece off and wear it like a two piece or you can wear it like a one piece. This lace overlay dress is absolutely gorgeous. I think it retailed for a couple thousand dollars. This was the last item that I sold in 2023. I had it in my closet for 200 and someone offered me 120 and I accepted. Um, this is a consignment piece. This is Farm Rio. This is a really kind of wild piece. I accepted an offer for $80 on this piece today. And um, it's really cute. It's called the Jaguar bomber jacket. It has lots of fringe. It's oversized. It's very fun. It's very Farm Rio vibes in the big cat sense. So I do have some consignment clients and that is a consignment piece, which means we split the profits after Posh takes their cut. So I give my consignment clients 50% of the profits. I sold these soft peep toe booties. These were actually a full price sale, surprisingly enough. Um, I, these were not a 40% off sale and um, they are in really lovely shape. I do like picking up soft. I think, um, you know, people seek out the brand. I sold this American Needle Company. It's a wool New York. It looks like New York Yankees, but it's not. It's the New York, oh my goodness, let me tell you exactly. It's the New York Cubans. New York Cubans is this hat. I sold a Colorado 
tumbler from Starbucks. It is a full stainless one. This is really, really popular. I don't know if you ever see these, but I do think people love, it's like you collect the states, kind of like the mugs, but it does, is all stainless, which I think is a little bit of an upgrade from people, um, especially moving away from plastic. So I always pick up the stainless um, tumblers from Starbucks. I did sell a pair of Rafi's the points in my 40% off sale. And the last item that I sold, um, someone missed the 40% off sale, but they sent me an offer after the fact, and it's just a pair of Fry Scrunch wedgie boots. And that's it. That's the 21 items that I am going to be shipping out from my kitchen table. And so that was a total of 21 items that I'm shipping out that sold on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I am headed out to the post office as soon as I get these things packed up. Thank you so much for watching. If anyone wants to know a little life update as to where I've been, um, <laughs> I, like many of you, have just been kind of navigating the holidays and I have been pretty open. I lost my mom this summer and um, we encountered, I encountered a lot of firsts this holiday season. First her birthday and then my dad's birthday and then the passing of my dad's, his anniversary and Thanksgiving and my birthday. Um, I think the first time after a major loss, my first birthday without hearing from my mom or talking to her is um, the hardest. And now that I have lost both of my parents, it's um, just feels different. It just really, really hits different. And um, I felt a lot of sadness this holiday. Um, on the upside, I did celebrate a birthday and my daughter celebrated a birthday. I am officially 50 years old and my birthday was just a couple of weeks ago. My daughter had emergency surgery a few weeks ago, so I spent a week helping her recover and she's still in recovery, but the first week, of course, was the hardest. And then yesterday, out of nowhere, I went into the laundry room and turned on the light and the light didn't turn on. So I just basically assumed the bulb was blown out. I walked through the laundry room and into the garage and I turned the light switch on and nothing happened there. I quickly came to troubleshoot that... Um, a circuit had gone out, which means, you know, all of those switches and plugs are all connected to the same line that goes to a breaker in my box and something's broken somewhere and I have replaced all of the outlets and all of the switches on that line and we still haven't solved the problem. So I have an electrician coming tomorrow to fix my space. So hopefully my next video will be from my space with the proper lights. Oh, come here, come say hi. Bestie is here, come here, come here. Someone's been hiding in my bedroom. Come here, walk, walk, walk. Okay, oh, come here. <laughs> Here's a Lou boy. Can you say hi? Oh, so we'll be back to having Louie making appearance during videos. Oh, I have a couple of things to return from Christmas. We took a little mini trip to the mountains. We went away for a night. My daughter goes back to college tomorrow. And so I'm ready to put 2023 behind me. I'm ready to continue to make more content and share my experience. Um, I'm gonna be going live in two days and I will be sharing my experience going live. I didn't go live all of December just because of life and I really miss it. So I will be back with some of that content. I know some people are new to the channel, finding my live videos, helping people understand the format and how to go live. And I'm so happy that I am able to help people navigate how to go live, what to do when you go live. And I hope you're having a great experience going live. If you are not in the live camp, 
to each their own. I mean, you just have to do what works best for you. My next video I will share. I have no death piles, you guys. They're completely gone. I had two racks of clothes. And so I am starting 2024 with embodying no death piles. My goals really are to source and to list and to not have bags of things sitting around. And I am just gonna be here to help support you and everyone and this community uh, make as much money as we can in 2024. I wish you nothing but the best of success and I hope I can provide you with some insight as to what I've been doing to help make the sales that I have. I am staying open-minded with strategies and strategies for me our live selling, our sourcing items that um, are a better fit for live selling than items from my closet, and being flexible when it comes to making off offers and accepting offers. Just really trying to move items out of my closet. I definitely want to sell hmm, 125 items a month, and I've come pretty close to hitting that, so maybe I should set a goal of 150. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I look forward to getting to know you and continuing on this reselling journey together. As I always say, when you are successful, I am successful. We really are all in this together. So take care everyone and let's make the most of 2024.